Hey folks, Pastor Rocky Branch, hope you're doing well today. I want to take just a couple of minutes and talk to you uh, about a story in the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah was a great man and he served the Lord in a foreign land. He was in the Medes and Persians Empire, which would be in the Babylon area. And he'd gotten word that Jerusalem's walls had been torn down and the protection of the city had been gone. And Nehemiah was burdened because of that. And he asked the king permission to go back and rebuild the wall in Jerusalem, and the king gave him that permission. When Nehemiah went back to the city, he found opposition when he started to attempt to gather support to rebuild the wall. But what Nehemiah did is what we need to do. Nehemiah kept on fighting for the cause, and eventually he allowed, uh, by the grace of God, the wall to be built by his efforts. And as a result of that, Nehemiah challenged the people of Jerusalem to do something very important that you and I need to do. You see, there were 42 sections of the wall, and it went around the entire city of Jerusalem. And what Nehemiah did in chapter 3 was that he called the goldsmiths and the perfume makers and the uh, builders and the gardeners and the seamstress. He called everybody in the city to build a section of the wall that was in front of their house or in their area. They had to work on that particular section of the wall. And that's very important to understand because you and I are responsible to build our section of the wall that we might stand strong for God. Now it's easy to look at someone else and to say, well, if that person would get right or if uh, I had this break, then everything would be better. But the Bible tells us very clearly that we are responsible to God first and then to other people. You see, Nehemiah presented to the people the opportunity to take care of where they lived first and then reach out and help other people. Let me ask you a question. Are you building the wall in your life that establishes the relationship with God? Are you providing a foundation in God by building a relationship and a foundation that will stand when trouble comes? Because trouble is going to come. Challenges are going to come. The wall was for protection, for stability, for comfort. And as a result of that, everybody where they lived needed to take care of the wall that would provide them those things. And in your life, you need those things as well but you have to build your wall. There's an old mountain saying where I grew up that said, you don't lean on your hoe and look at another man's garden. Hoe your own garden. There's another old saying that says, sweep your own doorstep off. You know, it's easy for you and I to find fault with other people, but it's important that we understand that we are responsible for us to God, and we need to do the best that we can. Yeah, other people may be doing uh, things that we don't agree with or things we want to question or challenge, and that's human nature, I guess. And sometimes we really get involved in things that we should leave alone. Because I've learned over the years, folks, if I take care of me, my hands are pretty full. I have a whole lot to do if I can just keep up with my life. And as a result of that, God can bless. You see, Nehemiah said to the people, build your section of the wall. I want to challenge you today build your section of the wall. Let God work in you and through you because great things are going to happen when we let God control our lives by his glory. So folks, you be blessed today and work on you. God will take care of the rest of it. God bless you. We love you and goodbye.